What's going on everyone, my name is Nicker Catalyst, and this is the No Nonsense Short and Simple Guide on how to rank up faster in Battlefield 1. In the background is some operations gameplay on the Conquer Hell operation with the Ribe Roll submachine gun. If you haven't checked out my other guide on how to not suck at sniping in Battlefield 1, make sure to do so, and most importantly, if you end up enjoying this video or it helps you in any way, shape, or form, don't forget to leave a like and a comment because it helps us all out tremendously. But without further ado, how to rank up fast in Battlefield 1. So right out of the gate, one of the simpler things you can do is take advantage of double XP weekends and squad XP boosts. Now, unfortunately, there is only one fixed boost multiplier in Battlefield 1, whereas in previous Battlefields, such as Battlefield 4, you can boost your score sometimes as high as 200%. But in Battlefield 1, you only get a, think, a 25% multiplier, but still something is better than nothing. When playing by yourself, try joining squads that have a squad boost active. Uh, if you were playing with your friends, have someone pop a squad boost if they have them. If you don't have any, getting more isn't really that difficult. You can often buy them in exchange for scrap in the battle pack menu, and if they aren't for sale, the only other way to get them without solely relying on RNG luck in common battle packs is to spend scrap on the superior battle packs that you get um, as a premium member or um, simply just buying them because they are very likely to have squad boosts in them. Plus you get some sweet skins and sometimes you'll even get a DLC weapon if you purchase enough COD points. You're, you're a fucking idiot. <laughs> but no, seriously, squad boosts are great, especially when you get up to the higher levels, the 90s and the 100s, because it gets very difficult to rank up. Uh, at that time. But what's more important than using them is using them efficiently, and this point applies really to playing with or without squad boosts. I highly suggest that you stick to the two main game modes of the game, Conquest and Operations. Comparing an average game of small game modes like Team Deathmatch and Domination and an average game of Operations, you get around 1500 score for one round of Team Deathmatch, whereas most times I get around 10,000 score for one game of operations, which can take anywhere from 45 minutes to an hour and a half, depending on whether or not you're getting blown out or you are steamrolling people. Now, I suppose you could make the argument that even if you play Team Deathmatch enough, you could equal that score in about the same amount of time, maybe a little bit longer, but I find Team Deathmatch very tedious personally, and you are going to lose out on a lot of points that you could be getting playing the bigger game modes. I'd rather play one match of operations and get 10,000 points than play 10 plus games of Team Deathmatch or Domination and get 10,000 points. In simpler terms, operations gives you more value for the time that you're putting into the game. Now, another reason why I say you should play objective-based game modes, specifically Conquest and Operations, is that you get bonus points for objective-based activities, whereas other modes, you don't. The game doesn't give you those bonuses. Which kind of leads into my next point, and it ties into being on the objective. Playing off the objective is not going to be beneficial to your team, and it's not going to be beneficial to you if you're trying to rank up quickly. If you are looking to rank up fast, sniping two miles behind the objective is a waste of your time. And you should probably consider doing something else. Because going 8-3 and three while sniping in the back of the objective, or the map, is not going to get you a lot of points. And it's probably going to put you on the bottom of the scoreboard. So, and I can't stress this enough. PTFO, play the fucking objective. You get bonus points for kills on the objective and you get bonus points for capturing the objective. There really isn't a time in my mind when you shouldn't be, at the very least, lurking around the objective. Now this also applies to kill whores out there. Hey guys, sorry to butt in, this is Catalyst in post-editing, this is not a mess up in the video at all, but I just want you to pay attention to how many points I'm getting just by being on the fucking objective. I already have more points than most people get in one game of Team Deathmatch just by playing the objective. I guess I haven't stressed enough how important playing the objective is already in the video, but now there's a little bit of an extra push for you. Now back to the video. Sitting in an artillery truck at the back of the map, picking people off or not pushing the objective as a tank falls under the same category. It really just becomes a matter of what you want more in this situation. To be on top of the scoreboard with a butt ton of XP, or do you want to have a pristine kill death ratio? Luckily for me, I do both. Because I'm a god. 
Last but certainly not least, I encourage you to play classes that have deployable gadgets that help the team. So specifically, I'm talking about medics and support players. Placing ammo in health crates in key locations or in a group of your teammates can get you a lot of XP. And you really don't have to do much except for, you know, press a button. Uh, reviving is another great thing that you can do. It gives you 50 points with uh, without a boost, that is, every time you revive somebody, which is pretty sweet. I still don't understand why people don't revive more in this damn game but uh running support and mana can give you a lot of additional xp that running assault or scout will not get you however if you are for whatever reason not good at playing those classes stick to what you're best at and go from there and that's about all the tips i have for ranking up fast thank you all so much for watching if you are new around here you should definitely subscribe we put out videos every monday wednesday friday and saturday and there's something for everybody here at legendary inc my name is nicker catalyst and i will see you all Another time. The blues is the old, old.